Hello students. After the discussion on the mechanism of adsorption, we have learned that uh, there is a type of interaction between the adsorbent and adsorbate. So let us discuss on the basis of the nature of forces between these. There are two type of adsorption. That is physical adsorption and chemical adsorption. So in this video, we will be discussing on physical adsorption. Physical adsorption, as the word says, physical. So if the force of attraction between the adsorbent and adsorbate, if it is are the physical forces like Van der Waal forces, then the adsorption is called as physical adsorption. Here you can see in the figure the gases particles are the adsorbate and uh, the adsorbent surface is shown here and we can see that uh, the between adsorbent and adsorbate there is a weak Van der Waal force and this force when we look at the figure here there is a force between these two and this force is a weak Van der Waal force which is a physical force. So, on the basis of this, we can define physical adsorption as when the particles of the adsorbate are held to the surface of adsorbent by physical forces such as Van der Waal forces, then the adsorption is called as physical adsorption. Now, let us discuss what are the other characteristics of physical adsorptions are there. So first character we have learned that there is a physical force between the adsorbent and adsorbase. Because of the weak force of attraction between the adsorbent and adsorbate, it have low enthalpy of adsorption. As a surface of adsorption, does not show any preference for a particular gas because Van der Waal forces is universal. That means all the gases are adsorbed on the solids to same extent. Here in the figure we can show, we can see that different gases particles are there and all these gases particles can be adsorbed on the surface that means there is no preference for a particular gas therefore we can say that it have lack of specificity let us take an example the nitrogen gas is adsorbed on the surface of charcoal which is shown in the equation here n2 plus charcoal n2 bar charcoal shows that uh, that nitrogen gas is adsorbed on the surface of charcoal plus heat because the process is exothermic. So in this process that is an adsorption process what is happening here the nitrogen gas is adsorbed on the surface of charcoal. A equilibrium stage is developed now when we increase the pressure as we have learnt in the last year in the equilibrium chapter, when the pressure is increased, the equilibrium will shift and the equilibrium shift here in the forward direction. Now what happens when we decrease the pressure? When we decrease the pressure, the equilibrium shift towards the backward direction. That means it is shifting on this direction. That means desorption is taking place. So in the first when we are increase the pressure adsorption increases and when decrease the pressure adsorption decreases. That means desorption is taking place. So what it shows that uh, it can be moved in both the direction. That means the process of adsorption that is physical adsorption is reversible in nature. In physical adsorption, 
multi molecular layer of adsorbate form or we can say retains on the surface of adsorbent since the force between them is weak van der waal force therefore it can form multi molecular layers under high pressure as charcoal is a very good adsorbent why because of its porous structure which is shown in the figure here charcoal have porous structure because of this reason only it have large surface area as adsorption is a surface phenomena therefore greater the surface area greater will be the adsorption so we can conclude that greater the surface area greater will be the adsorption activation energy is the energy required to form an intermediate compound in the chemical reactions so here there is no chemical reaction is taking place therefore we can say that in the physical adsorption there is no appreciable activation energy is required now let us see what happens when we increase the temperature so as we know that there is a force of interaction between the adsorbate and adsorbent and this force of interaction is actually which force a weak van der waal force so what happen when the temperature is increased so these adsorbate particles gains kinetic energy because of this reason they start to leave the surface because they gains kinetic energy they start to leave the surface and the force between them is weak van der waal force therefore it can easily leave the surface so what we can conclude that on increasing the temperature on increasing the temperature the process of desorption get decreases so we can say that the rise in temperature decreases the extent of adsorption now let us see how the nature of adsorbate will affect the adsorption process let us take three gases a b c and all these gases are taken in the separate container glass jar it's a closed glass jar and in each charcoal is taken so what it is observed that uh, the gas a will get more adsorbed in the figure you can see that uh, the more particles more particles are adsorbed in the case of gas a therefore you can see in the figure there are more number of gases a on the surface of charcoal but in the case of b it is quite lesser in compared to a and in c it is again lesser in compared to b so when we find that uh, the extent of adsorption it is maximum in b sorry it is maximum in a then it is in b then it is in c so why it happens uh, here each gases have particular critical temperature here the critical temperature of gas a is 430 kelvin for b is 190 and for c is 43 kelvin so that means greater the critical temperature greater will be the extent of adsorption as we have learned last year critical temperature greater the critical temperature easy will be the liquefaction of the gas so we can conclude that greater the critical temperature easy will be the liquefaction of the gas that means greater will be the extent of adsorption so that means the adsorption process depends upon the nature of adsorbate and the gas which have higher critical temperature shows greater extent of adsorption so let us summarize this topic that is physical adsorption we have discussed the following points like first they have weak force of interaction that is 
wonderwall force therefore it is called as physical adsorption and it have low enthalpy of adsorption lack of specificity that means uh, a, uh, any gases uh, the gases are not preferred next uh, reversible in nature you can see it can be reversed in both the direction and it form multi molecular layers and uh, it increases with the surface area and uh, no appreciable activation energy is required in the physical adsorption and the process decreases with temperature because the particles gain kinetic energy it leaves the surface and last nature of adsorbate greater the critical temperature greater will be the extent of adsorption so in this video we have discussed on the topic uh, physical adsorption and its characteristic in the next video we'll be discussing on the chemical adsorption and we can compare both physical and chemical adsorption thank you everyone